All right, let's now work on our clock face. Uh, what we want to do is make sure that we are working to the proportions of Sauron's design. Um, where are they? What this is set? This is actually Fu Yen's work. Um, so let's have a look. No, it's not there. Ah, here it is. So, looking at the clock faces, they all appear to be identical in dimensions, and the clock face itself uh, is slightly raised from uh, the ground. So you have um, uh, this little linear square that pops out slightly and there's kind of a recess behind. Um, we'll work on that now. Alrighty, let's go back to our our design um, and create a something proportional. Let's go back to our guides, then center my guide and then make sure that this too is centered. All right, that looks more or less right. So, um, I need a second. Um, I need a second square. So I go Command C, Command F, and I can now go to my Transform palette uh, window. Transform. I need to link height and width and now I can actually make that smaller beautiful um, okay now that's one way of doing it uh, I'll show you another way of doing it so I want to duplicate that square but smaller within it I can go to object um, path, um, offset path, let's say minus three, five, let's have a look, there we go, yeah that looks about right, um, so good, um, now what we need to do is make this into an actual shape with a hole in it. So we can go to our shape builder. Where is the shape? There's a shape builder. And select the two squares. It recognizes that space between them. And bang, we now have um, a shape. Uh, how do we tell it's a shape? Uh, not just two lines which form contours of a shape. Well, we can just go into our swatches and okay um i'm not sure why that happened if i just move that away there you go okay i can delete that because i do not need that and put you back in there all righty so uh, i need a copy of that command c go back here um and we're working of course in the clock layer command V what I'd like to do now is simply extrude this and place that on top um, the stroke is gray the fill is yellow um, how about we go fill yellow as well as a stroke so I'll go to my swatches and select yellow so the whole thing is yellow the stroke is yellow the fill is yellow and now I can go to the effect tool 3d extrude and bevel and preview or oh, it's a bit deep um, maybe not that deep let's bring that down to I don't know for 25 20 fine okay and we need to uh, match the view isometric right and um, okay
good. Um, but we need a, a background, so um, we need to create a, um, a, um, a f clock face. So let's go back to our original square here. How big was that again? 40 by 40. Uh, well, oh, it's changed. It's um, 50 by something. Okay, so it's a 50 millimeter square. So we go click. Oh, it remembered um, the, the dimension last created. So that's what we want. Uh, this time we want a a white uh, face and I've just clicked selected white but because I haven't chosen the appropriate surface that I'm changing so sorry I haven't chosen the fill it's changed the stroke I need to change the stroke so I'm going to swap the colors around so now the um, uh, stroke is yellow and the fill is white okay so what I want to do now is um, make a copy of that, Command C, V, and um, one of these will become a symbol and the other will be the extrusion at, z at um, a zero depth. So let me just create some hands. Um, and um, maybe I'll make it uh, that will do. Go to my stroke, make that a lot thicker. Or go here. Whoops. Um, make sure you show the options. And I'm going to sh select this kind of curved or round cap. And so that's now just, if I just click off it, you see how it's a bit it's softened. Um, Whereas before, oops, the days, cancel that. Whereas before it was kind of square ends. Well, that works as well. I might leave it at that. Uh, we want one more of these. Um, I can use the line tool. And because it's remembered uh, the last dimension, it will just copy it. So, bang. I have now a hand, I have hands. And I have a white ground um, with magenta, whatever's, but it's not quite centered. That's, that's not really centered, is it? So how do we do the centering? Well, we drag a guide from the top and line it up with the center of the object and, um, and select that and that, and then come down. Whoa. Now, I've selected all three things. In fact, you'll need to deselect the, the square. So you hold the Shift key, select what you want to deselect, and it will do it. And now I've got those two things only. I think that's better. And uh, it looks right, I think. Right, okay. I want to take that now and drag it into my symbols. Where are my symbols? They're already open. Uh, in you go clock face uh, graphic static symbol okay uh, I don't need this anymore but actually I'll keep it so I can put it in in, in the um, command X I can just put it I can just put it here command V and you kind of think oh that's not right go to object arrange center back not that far back so, um, object arrange bring forward that hasn't done it so command open square bracket sorry close square bracket there you go so um, open square back bracket takes to the back and command close square bracket brings it to the front that's the sh that's your shortcut Okay, so that's the design done for the face. Now we need to um, extrude this white square. Um, effect, 3D, extrude and bevel, um, preview, can't see it, there it is. 
This is now at zero. Um, okay. Not yet. Um, we need to go to what? Isometric right. There you go. Okay. Let's drag that. And you kind of think, hmm. So remember, it's to send things back, it's command open square bracket. Voila. Um, I forgot just to actually stamp it or map it. Sorry. So let's go back to appearance. Where's appearance? Have I not? Oh, okay. Uh, window, appearance, and um, it's been already selected. So 3D extruded bevel, click preview, um, map art, and clock face. Where are you, clock face? There you are, clock face. Voila. And OK. It's still, I still feel like the actual um, frame around the face is a little bulky. So um, we might have to just um, work on that. So select that. Um, go to appearances and um, preview on your extrude and bevel um, palette. And um, we need to go to something less than 20. Maybe we go to 10. That's better. I think I think that's an improvement. Um, but now what's done is it's changed the location of the space of the thing behind it. So we can fix that. Um, let's just move it. And let's move both these things together. Whoa. Okay, um, complete. Good luck with it all.